Yes sir, yes sir, what is up? It is your truly the Trigger Trey here. Playing some more of that, you know, Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. This is, uh, part four, I believe. Uh, so, you know the routine, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Okay, so we defeated Vulcan Raven, phase one. Uh, we got the level three card. I could go back across that field and grab some stuff, but I'm gonna wait until the uh, Sniper Wolf boss fight. Let's get that ration. I think I'm full up on food. Damn, I can't even use my non-lethal. Okay. Let's see if anything around here. Nope. All right, let's go. Uh, what do you want? Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I can't, I've but they can. That's messed up. Machine, so he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said totally careless they're working on a limited budget they try to put on a pretty face for the media but this is the grim reality of it Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do her frequency is 141.52 all of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed so there's no fear of them exploding but if the warheads are broken they might leak plutonium and that would be a serious problem I bet it would. snake never use your weapon on that floor Okay, let's try not to fuck this up. Let's let that camera pass. Get back here. Better wait for that other guard to turn his back. Oh, that's close. Leave the area, buddy. Okay. Come on. There we go. Let's go to basement one. I'm probably going to be needing basement two, actually. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. I kind of figured that. The floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. On second thought, I think we are going to need to head back to basement one. Forgive me for a second, I forgot about that damn rocket launcher. There we go. Let's 
do do can't go in there just yet freeze uh-huh yeah 99 for you get that ration nothing in here oh porno meg Let's put you in here. Woo! He went nighty night. Can't go that way. Looks like the door's wide open though. Oh, card. I guess I come back for those doors. Nothing in there. And yeah, I still ran in there. I don't know why. That one's locked. Okay, I'm not getting these doors just yet. So let's take that from Moss. So come. Basement two. Alrighty. Let's see if I can do this. in there. There we go. Let's get a ration going. Got anything here? Got the ration. Can't go in there. Disable you. Gas mask. There we go. I'm gonna need that. Where are you? Get another ration. Actually, let's unequip this temporarily just so I can see. Let's get the sensory gun out of here. Get another ration. Mortal 
Buddy, you just better off playing dead. Take this! What you gonna do that little thing? Ooh. I mean, at least he went out with courage, but oh, the plate did. gas mask on anymore Woo, yeah just dead bodies everywhere <laughs> there goes mr. Emery stealth camouflage who are you <laughs> <laughs> yep, of course he's going to pee on himself. Where's my friend? What? What are you talking about? I ain't gonna lie, Cyborg Ninja got a gyat. No duty. Oh, what next? When I first played this, I thought, oh, uh, Emery got shot. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. Uh, all right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. How about dinner in the movie first? <laughs> okay. Do, do, where are you? No, you don't. <laughs> Bitch. Take that. Snake, you can't defeat me with a weapon like that. Yes, I can. Shoot them while he's down. Let's try. 
No, he just dodged it. Where are you going? Playing Ring Around the Rosa? I'm just gonna go the other way. Okay, there you are. Oh, okay. I'll take that ration. Chapter nature. Bitch. Go ahead and get your strength up. Down, so I gotta wait till he gets back up. Let's throw another. Come here. Yeah. Where are you at? Now you close. carrying this. Oh, I know if you swing and hit him with it, it's gonna knock his ass out. Come here. Okay, I guess we're going back to my chair. Where's he at? Where's he at? I wanted to hit him with that. Get another trap going. Yeah. Bitch! Smack his ass with a rocket launcher. Let's get some more chaff going. He's gonna get back up in a second. I can't hit him while he's on the uh, ground. Oh. Bandages, or is it just uh, rations? We'll just use a ration then. Oh, I got two chaps left. Where are you going? 
fucked his ass up. Sound kind of suspect, my guy. Just like in Metal Gear Solid 1, the last play of this game. Uh, let me turn these off. Nope. Hurt me more. That was just awkward. More, more. Yep, this dude is definitely weirder than he was in Metal Gear Solid 1. I'm going to smack him with the, uh, the key to... Missed! Bitch! Wish he'd stop talking. Missed! Bitch! Motherfucker! Ooh! Yeah, this dude is... I don't know what's going on with Gary Fox. Ooh. And he packing, too. Zanzibar. Boy's definitely a nut job. What's happening? I, I can see that. Only been passed out in the doggy style position. Uh, is it over? Ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Gray Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. 
they fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Well, we got Yoko. Just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the president personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Hmm. 
Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Did the terrorists launch that thing? No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast oh, is clear, I'll contact you by Emmer. Kodak. <laughs> How am I supposed to escape from an island? Well, that's a good question. Okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl. The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Uh oh. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? Yeah, I heard it too. What did she look like? Hey, Super Mario and Yoshi. She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. 
It's security level four. Nice. It's gonna come in handy. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. <laughs> What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan is the culture. first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. I bet if Otacon was a real dude, he'd be like real chill in real life. Snake would probably be kind of grumpy. Okay. Let's try something real quick. Do do. Oh, yeah, he does give you health. Okay, let's go ahead and do a save point here since I like to keep my uh, videos per boss fight. Mailing. What's up, Snake? Let's save the game. Here we go. Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. Mm. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't yeah, all the con basically just said that. <laughs> That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. By the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Alrighty, this is the Trigger Trey here. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. This wraps up uh, part four of my Twin Snakes walkthrough. Please do me a huge favor. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures as always. So for now, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.